Alright, welcome to another episode. <coughs> We're trying to find the last numbers to do something with to turn on the train. The spanner. Nice. Could need those. There's another one. Oh, I can only have one weapon. So what's on this side? Okay. Spike remover. Okay, okay. <coughs> Here. And this one that way? No? That bad? Yep. Holy shit! We're golden! Duck, though. What about Duck? What about him? Look, Kitty, it's something we're gonna have to deal with. Did you not hear, Cat? We don't know shit, Lee. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. Was we supposed to turn one more? No? It's all yours. Full throttle. Damn it! Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? Yeah. It's, prob it's probably now we gotta use the tools. We're loose. You're loose. <coughs> you touch any my stuff? Oh sh! Holy shit, that was creepy. Oh, holy, holy shit, it's creepy. Shit, that was creepy. I got them all right up here. I guess it's no worse for wear. Holy shit, Thanks that was creepy. Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here. I thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Me too, man. Yeah. That. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. Normal and normal. Gave us candy, Ben too. Shares my love of the road. That's for sure. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. 
We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Stay with us. We'd like the company. Yeah. Sweet. Hey, Chuck. Honey. Where are you from? Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. <laughs> yeah, I did. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. Sweet. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Want to ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. <laughs> That's a yes, then. And find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. Getting sicker. Bang. Let me look at him. Can't ignore this. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, Captain. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. What about, I wonder what will happen if we're just going to be in a train on the, the whole episode. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I like that guy. I think you're missing an arm, bro. Pretty sweet with the train, though. You gotta be hard on you, eh? The adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. <laughs> There were more. There were more. Dead, get him. No. No. Ah, living got him. Lee. Oh, shit. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? If you get that off his face, my hands are full here. Shit. Starting to get pretty serious here. Could you just get that off his face, please? Oh, I feel sorry for him. He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Damn. We shouldn't lose much more. A 
bet Ken's gonna freak out now. And fucking me. Stab me with a big black dildo or something. You need to stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doug. The hell it's not. You think we're pals and you know me? You're some elitist prick with a fancy education who could pick me apart? It's not like that. The fuck it isn't. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. And a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. I know that. Stop the train, man. When have we lost them? But how are they gonna, you know? I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. You just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's... Here, or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Lee's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest, so Clementine doesn't have to 